Good evening. In this video, I'm working on my workshop computer. It is an old stuff using a third generation core CPU. So I need to pimp it up to make it able to deal with high resolution video capture. Right now, it is not able to record the output of a G4 Power Mac as it is heavily dropping frames. Well, you may suggest to replace it with a new model. However, this has an integrated floppy disk controller and I use that for data transfer towards my A-bit computers. The idea is to install video card and let the GPU deal with the encoding. It sounds easy, but the motherboard has not enough PCI Express slots. I need to host the capture card with X4, so four lane PCI Express, and the GPU which is typically an X16, so requires 16 lanes. To solve this problem, I plan to use a riser, which converts the X1 physical port to an X16. Of course, it doesn't increase the bandwidth, but let's see how it works out. Okay, this is the second day. I went to the shop and right now I have the riser and I also found a GTX 1050 on the flea market. I have already tested how the video card behaves with a single PCI lane. Well, it works fine, but I can fit all the cards and cables only if I use the riser for the capture card. It means the video card will sit in the longer PCI Express slot, but also that I have to print a new backplate for the capture card. This plate must hold it upside down. So now I'm planning, printing, and when everything is ready, I show you the result. So this is under my, my desk. Let me pull it out a little bit. Okay. What I do have here is two floppy drives. One for the smaller, one for the bigger one. I can burn DVDs and CDs as necessary. And as well as all the cards supported is it's kind of must and front USB. But let's see how it looks inside. So internally, right now, as you can see, I have printed this holder here and this one. So here I have LTP, so a parallel port, and under this one, uh, let's focus there, and under this one there is a serial port. And this is another holder. So this is holding the capture card. I know it is not nice, so how it is connected? I'm using this riser. This one is a PCI Express riser. It is going to the port somewhere there. I cannot show you. Maybe I can just remove it slowly. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. And it is connected somewhere. Yeah, there. You can see nothing from that, but believe me, this one is. So the question is now if I plan to use this video card for video encoding and this one for capturing, if the bandwidth will be enough on an X1 port to transfer the data. So theoretically, yes, but practically, let me see. As you can see, Linux booted up and I'm using OBS to record the screen which means that the GPU is encoding properly. So here you can see the CPU load and the FPS. So hardware encoding is working. The next step is connect to G4 Power Mac and record its output. For that, I need to check if the capture card is working. So let's put it aside and open the terminal. So what I do check first, if I can see the card, oh, cool, it's here, so it's connected. Let's check the so-called driver. Oops, it's not loaded. I think it is because I had a kernel update recently. So I have to recompile. spent a few minutes to check if there is a new version of the Vision install and also checked the compatibility and kernel compatibility. 
So I read through the documentation, checked the kernel compatibility. So that's fine. It is already downloaded. So I'm jumping back to the terminal. So here is the archive and I extracted the contents. So I just need to compile the new kernel model and it will take a while. But I have to elevate my rights. Yes. Yes. So I need to watch those dots for a few minutes. Why not? Yep. Maybe the application was a wrong decision. I have to wait a little bit more. But never mind, I feel that I'm getting close to the target. Okay, it is spinning the CPU. This machine is not so fast, it is just a third generation i5, so just four cores, 80 gigabytes of memory. So I have to wait a little bit more. Yoohoo, it's done. So let's check. Okay, so I have the driver here. So I should have Okay, so it should work. What I need is to turn on the Power Mac and start the VCS. So first of all, the Power Mac. And the VCS. Nope. Then what? I should see something. Maybe what I can try is to start a second OBS. Okay, so right now I have two of them. And create here. It should work, so I need to check the Mac. What about now? Okay, that means I can capture directly. Okay, so I played a little bit with the OBS, and right now, as you can see, two OBS running at the same time. One is at the left side. This is capturing, because I started the record, this is capturing the G4 output, and this one is recording the full screen. Why I'm doing that is because that way I can show you the settings. So how I set it. So right now, the output, the recording is set to use the NV encoder. I'm not rescaling the output, so I'm using the native. It is set lossless, so maximum quality, whatever and it is encapsulated into an mp4 file. Let's play a little bit and then I'll see the size of the output. Okay, I'm not playing, I'm just starting Doom 3, so let's see the demo. Okay, I think that's enough. So after five minutes, I stopped this video and this is around 750 megabytes. So one minute is around 150 megabytes. Let's check it out with VLC. Uh, there are a few artifacts. Mm, I need to figure out why. And let's check out Kodak information. Yeah. So this is the Kodak information. I think that's fine. What I do not like is how it looks like. 
it's a garbage. What's wrong with that? Let's check out the second method and captured VCS. I do not crop. Hmm, it's it looks much better. The question if ILC drops or not. So let's start recording and let's see how it behaves now. I see less artifacts, but two cursors, no matter. Oh yes, it is because the game changed its resolution. I need to change the resolution here to set an upscale. Okay. Okay, so now it is upscaled. Let's see. I have a three minutes long video. And this one right now, I think this one or this one. Let's check it out. So what I can say, this kind of record, I have to take care of the cursor. I can disable to capture the cursor of the Linux. So there will be just one cursor, which is the Mac and no artifacts. Last night, I forgot to get to a final conclusion. Let's see what I was able to achieve uh, compared to what I've planned. The GTX 1050 is able to encode multiple streams and I also managed to connect the capture card. It seems a single PC Express lane is enough for the capture card. That way I can record the full HD output of the G4 Power Mac. All in all, the build is a mess, but it is working as expected. I hope you enjoyed the video and my dirty hack. See you next time. Bye bye.